Hey guys, I'm Jacob Stargerwald. We're here in the cutting edge garage today taking a look at a 2011 Isuzu NQR. The driver tells me he's been having issues with the truck going in and out of D-rate. Um, things he's tried so far is just clearing the codes and running a regen. Um, it'll work okay for a few miles, but then it goes right back into D-rate. So we're gonna take a closer look and I'll give you a few diagnostic tips along the way. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the trouble codes we have stored in our dosing control module. Uh, there's only one in there and it is a P1490, which is a DEF system knock strap low efficiency code. Um, after a little bit of research, that generally just means that the, that the dosing control module is not seeing the NOx reduction it, it wants to see after spraying the, uh, the urea fluid into the exhaust stream. Taking that trouble code into account, we can go ahead and check a couple of things that are really easy. Um, first thing we want to take a look at is the DEF fluid itself, make sure it's not contaminated. And then after that, we'll start going through the system component by component. Um, we can use our TEXA diagnostic scan tool to activate and deactivate components and hopefully narrow down the issue and make our diagnosis a little bit easier on us. After talking to the driver, he did tell me that he has not had to put any DEF fluid in this vehicle over the last three weeks or so. So my first step was to check the level of the DEF fluid and it is full to the brim, all the way to the top of the filler neck. So that tells me we have something going on in our dosing system where no DEF fluid is making it into the system at all. So we're gonna look at the pump and the injector first and we'll go from there. Okay, I've already checked the DEF fluid and it tested okay, so we're going to move on. And now we're going to take a look at the, the pump itself. Now with our TEXA Diagnostic Scan Tool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Activations and I can turn on that pump and we should be able to hear it come on. Let's go here, let's start. Tell me the engine can't be running. Alright, let's press the up arrow and we should hear that pump cycle on. I hear a pump. All right, so now that we've made sure that the pump is at least coming on, I want to take a look at this injector. I want to actuate it and see if I can hear it coming on and off. Okay, so now we're under the passenger side of the vehicle. We're right here at the dosing injector unit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Texas Diagnostic Scan Tool and go to the activations page. And I want to actuate this injector and we should be able to hear it click. Close this. All right, so our injector is pulsing, but now it's, it's important to note that we're just checking the electrical part of this. We could still have a mechanical problem somewhere like a blockage in the system. So we're going to look a little bit deeper. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I want to take this uh, DEF fluid supply line off the end of the injector, and I'm going to actuate that pump and see if I'm actually getting fluid all the way up to the injector. Okay, so we made sure the injector is at least pulsing, but what I want to do next is I want to take this line loose and I want to actuate our pump to make sure we're getting some kind of DEF fluid flow through the system to the injector. All right, this, this connector just has two little squeeze tabs on the side. Those give it a squeeze and a twist and it'll pop right off. And I'm seeing some kind of trash on the end of this injector connector. It looks, yep, that's silicone. There's silicone all over and inside the injector hole, so that's completely plugged. Let's take a look at our line. Yep, and the supply line is absolutely packed full of silicone, so we're obviously not going to get any flow through the injector here. So at the very minimum, it looks like we're replacing the injector and the supply line itself. And this is why it's important to go a step further rather than just doing your actuation test and making a diagnosis from there. Both the pump and the injector were both actuating, but we had a blockage in the system preventing any actual death fluid flow. So always take that extra step and test for any mechanical blockages in the system. All right, so we found the probable cause of our issue here. I've removed the bad line off, and what I'd like to do now, just to verify everything, is to go ahead and turn this pump on, and I wanna see some flow out of this line. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and flush all the old DEF fluid out of it and make sure this whole system's working. So I'm gonna take my Texas scan tool. I go to here to my supply pump actuation. Confirm, hit my up arrow. I can hear the pump running. And we're getting flow. That's only at 20%. So I'm happy with that flow. I'm gonna go ahead and let this pump out, get all the old death fluid out, and then we'll replace our injector and our supply line, and I think we'll have a good repair. We got our new injector assembly. We got our new line assembly. Let's throw these parts on the truck and get the driver back on the road.
All right, first we're going to get this injector assembly removed and replaced. Uh, we do have two engine coolant lines going down to the injector assembly to keep it cool since it's bolted to the exhaust. So I'm going to use a couple of these clamps, clamp off our coolant line so we don't make a, a huge mess. Too bad. Now it's got our injector, electrical connector, just like you got three 10 millimeter bolts. There's the old assembly. Here is the new. Alright. All right, that's our coolant lines back on. We take off our little clamps. All right, now we need to change out our def, def line assembly. We should be ready to rock and roll. Cool. Take the caps out first. All right, now that we have our new parts installed, I'm gonna use my Texas scan tool to actuate the pump. I wanna get some pressure into the system and make sure we don't have any leaks. Let's head to the other side and see if we got any leaks. All right, don't see any leaks. Uh, let's fire this thing up, run it through a regen, and we should be good to go. Uh, sorry about the noise guys, we didn't have a rainstorm move in. Um, now that we verify we don't have any def fluid leaks in the system, there's a couple of resets we need to do with our Texa IDC5 scan tool. First I'm going to do this uh, deep uh, def fluid injector data reset since we put a brand new injector in it. Alright, so that's done. Cut the off. Confirm. Ignition on. Confirm. Alright, now I want to head to the false page. I want to clear this memory code. Alright. Let's see if this code will clear for us. Sometimes you will have to go ahead and run a regen for some of these codes to clear out code cleared out for us because it turned green. We'll head on over to the settings page and the setting we are looking for is DPF normal regeneration. So I'm going to go ahead and start the truck. All right now that the truck's warmed up a little bit we're going to go ahead and try to start our regen and then we should be good to go. So I gotta hit confirm to start, then I'll mash the regen button. Alright, we'll let this regen run through. This truck should be ready to go back down the road. 
Guys, thanks for joining us here in the Cutting Edge Garage. A big thanks to Cutting Edge for letting, letting us use their shop today. A uh, couple of things before I leave you guys. Um, always make sure to follow up and verify. Um, no amount of uh, work or staring at a scan tool would have found the issue we found today, which was a physical blockage of the depth fluid lines. Um, everything the scan tool showed us that everything should be working, but getting your hands dirty and actually checking things is the way to repair vehicles. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.